Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can translate your text from one language to another language using Google Apps Script. So this feature is available in an inbuilt function in Google Sheet. But if you want to implement or if you want to make certain changes or if you want to customize the function, you can go with Google Apps Script. So here I have created a function called my translation and this is where we are going to see how to do the translation so first let's create a variable name called translate so to do the translation you should use a class called language app so if you put a dot you can see the two methods with different arguments so first one is a translate and second one is also a translate and first one contain three arguments and the second one accept four arguments so first explore the first one so here you need to pass the text that you want to translate so either you can take out the entire range or you can take a particular cell or you can directly pass the text here so this first argument accept a string which could be taken from a particular range or particular row or particular column that you need to pass here and what is the source language and target language for source language you have to mention the language code of this particular text and the target language you need to give the language code which you want to do that translation so first source language and second one is a target language so I have given a link in the description so that you can find your language code. So my source language is English and the language code is EN. So put it inside the single quotes and I want to translate to a language called Tamil. So let's put TA here. So that's it. So let's print this one in the logger and see how it works. So you can see that it has translated the given string into Tamil language successfully. And this is one way of doing a translation. So now let's explore the second method that's having a four argument. So here you can see that it accepts an, another argument called object. This is an advanced op. So this is mainly used to do the translation from a different file format. So it could be .txt or HTML. So let's see how to convert a page, a HTML web page that is available on the online to a different language so this is a um, link which is available on the online I took for doing the translation so select this one and here instead of passing the text you have to parse this text using URL fetch app and you should get the content of this entire HTML and you have to pass the content as a text here so let's see how to do that so if you have watched my previous video, then you are comfortable with URL fetch app. If you haven't, then I will explain that. So get content. I created a variable called get content. So, and you have to use a class called URL fetch dot fetch. So you need to fetch the text from this particular URL. So put that URL as an argument where text equal to you have to use this variable name and you have to get the entire content as a text so you have to use a method get content text that's it you can pass this text here and the source language is en and the target language is ta and here you have to specify the file format so now just execute the script and see how it works. So 
go to view unlocks here you can see that it has done the translation and it changed the tag name from a camel case to upper case to differentiate the HTML tag and the text is present inside the HTML tags so let's say if we ignore this argument and execute the script let's see how it works so here you can see that it just converted as cities in the in the HTML file format and it haven't show any difference between the tag names so this is the basic difference between those two methods and that's all about this google translation if you like this video give thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye